The Truth About Ghosts Disclaimer, you don't have to be afraid, because they can't harm Christians. We have the Holy Spirit living inside of us. Believers are protected. Job 7, verses 9-10 to 10, New King James Version As the cloud is consumed, and vanisheth away, so he that goeth down to the grave shall come up no more. He shall return no more to his house, neither shall his place know him any more. In contemporary English, the Bible is simply conveying the most misunderstood message and phenomena. Job 7, verses 9 to 10, according to the voice, As clouds thin and finally vanish, so it is when people enter the land of the dead. Never will they come back up. Never will they return to their homes, or will the place they lived recognize them anymore. There are no such things as ghosts, but there are demons. What people report as being ghosts are actually demons. All the different ghostly activities, ghost stories, haunted mansions, are all the work of demons. Job 7, verses 9 to 10, according to the contemporary English version. I will disappear in the grave, or vanish from sight like a passing cloud. Never will I return home. Soon I will be forgotten. The Bible is clear that once a person dies, they cannot return from the dead. The author of Hebrews tells us each person is destined to die once and then stand before God. Hebrews 9 verse 27, according to the New King James Version. And as it is appointed for men to die once, but after this, the judgment. A person does not get to choose whether they are going to return to haunt the people of their earthly life. When a person dies, they are immediately before God. Ecclesiastes 12 verse 7, according to the New King James Version. Then the dust will return to the earth as it was, and the Spirit will return to God who gave it. Depending on whether they accepted Jesus will determine if they go to heaven or hell. All individuals who have placed faith in Jesus will go to heaven. However, all the people who have not accepted Jesus will go to hell. Each person will either go to one or the other. There is not a third option to return to the earth and complete unfinished business. This is a figment of imagination perpetrated by agents of the devil. The field of paranormal investigation on media has broadened and the demonic has entered the spirits and lives of many through seeing and hearing these narrations. Disclaimer. You don't have to be afraid because they can't harm Christians. We have the Holy Spirit living inside of us. Believers are protected. There are nearly as many theories as to what a ghost is as there are investigators. Most popular in American culture is the theory ghosts are the spirits of humans who have died but not yet crossed over to heaven or hell. On the other hand, most discerning, word-believing Christians believe that when people encounter a genuine spirit, it is not a dead human, but rather a demonic spirit intent on deceiving living humans. Another name for Satan is the deceiver. He seeks to deceive as many people as he can, and of course demons do the same thing. You may hear about people going to psychics and talking to dead family members, but once again, those are just demons impersonating the deceased and deceiving people. The Bible explicitly warns us not to be an ignorant believer. 2 Corinthians 2 verse 11, New King James Version. Lest Satan should take advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. 2 Corinthians 2 verse 11, The Voice. It's my duty to make sure that Satan does not win even a small victory over us, for we don't want to be naive and then fall prey to his schemes.
1 Peter 5 verse 8 Be sober-minded and alert. Your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. Ghosts are just demons, impersonating the deceased and deceiving people. Demons are known to masquerade themselves to fool people. Many people still report seeing dead loved ones or experiencing the paranormal activity of a haunting in their home. How can one explain this? There are no such thing as ghosts, but there are demons. What people report as being ghosts are demons. Disclaimer. You don't have to be afraid, because they can't harm Christians. We have the Holy Spirit living inside of us. Believers are protected. Since demons can masquerade as angels of light, it is completely possible that they can make themselves look like dead loved ones. Believers need to be aware of this, as demons will try to trick us in any way we can. Becoming involved with the paranormal is not encouraged for Christians. God warns us about not seeking out mediums or necromancers. Leviticus 19 verse 31, The Voice Do not turn to mediums or consult with those who communicate with the spirits of the dead. Do not go near them, or else you will defile yourselves. I am the Eternal, your God. Believers need to flee from any fascination with ghosts as the ghosts are only demons. There are some people that might say, didn't Saul talk to Samuel's ghost? Notice that the figure did not come from heaven. It came from out of the earth. Notice that the figure was not joyful and notice that Saul's face was down. Scripture teaches that the dead can't come back. 1 Samuel 28 verses 13 to 15. The king said to her, Do not be afraid, but what do you see? And the woman said to Saul, I see a divine being coming up out of the earth. He said to her, What is his form? And she said, An old man is coming up, and he is wrapped with a robe. And Saul knew it was Samuel, and he bowed with his face to the ground and did homage. Then Samuel said to Saul, Why have you disturbed me by bringing me up? And Saul answered, I am greatly distressed, for the Philistines are waging war against me, and God has departed from me and no longer answers me, either through prophets or by dreams. Therefore I have called you, that you may make known to me that I should do. Disclaimer you don't have to be afraid, because they can't harm Christians. We have the Holy Spirit living inside of us. Believers are protected. 1 John 4 verse 4 You are from God, little children, and you have conquered them, because the one who is in you is greater than the one who is in the world. 2 Corinthians 1, verses 21 to 22. And it is God who establishes us with you in Christ and has anointed us and who has also put his seal on us and given us his spirit in our hearts as a guarantee. First John 5, verse 18. We know that everyone who has been born of God does not sin, but the one who is born of God keeps him, and the evil one does not touch him. Do not be afraid. The one who is in you is greater than the one who is in the world. God bless you.